Good morning everyone. So this morning an early wake up we are heading to one of the, the Cichlades most stunning sites. That's the Ho Hosoviotissa monastery which is hung on the wall, uh, on the rock wall in Amogos. The legend says that it origin is in the 9th century from monks fleeing Palestine who landed and stranded in Amorgos and built this stunning amazing uh, monastery and um, early morning because in the morning sun it should be stunning and that place is open only from 8 in the morning until 1 and now it's half past 8 and it should take us half an hour to get there and uh, to get there we have to wear long pants and have our shoulders covered Fritjof today chose the color white to get rid of his sins let's see how they react on that so this morning is a very very bright morning you can see here so clearly the other islands Paros at the back and then uh, islands which I don't know what they are and you can see there's no wind today which makes it even clearer the other island Dunus, Dunusa Dunusa, genau. Dunusa yes. exactly Dunusa, which is not very developed yet Maybe you can hear a little bit all these little bells from the goats. Meh. <laughs> They're all over there in these bushes and shrubs having breakfast and are happy. So in the travel book it was, it was written that when you arrive on the top after all these stairs, the monks will give you a schnapps and a glass of water. Let's see if that's still the case today. Actually there are just three... And a burger. <laughs> and a burger? <laughs> Actually there are just three monks still permanently living in that monastery. But some other monks from other islands are visiting. You can see them very often on the ferry boats which are going between the islands. So this is very smartly built into the rocks. It's a little boat. Marty's trying to open the door. Hello. 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 and the water and free gym also included look at Marty <laughs> so 
So we got also some coffee offered, which is actually Greek coffee, very intense, and lukums. and some rose lukums. Very, very uh, friendly monks, I must say. The guy just told us yesterday a big rock fell down on this terrace, which you see there on the right with the green bucket, all the way up, and that's accordingly happening here all the time. Uh, make a, a big hole. And, Whoa. Crazy. and it's very heavy. Yeah, yeah, of yeah course it's a big it stone. Heavy. Show me the other picture again before. Uh, the, the thing is crazy. So we were just up there on that terrace. And he told us the whole monastery has 72 rooms and the guidebook it's written 65 rooms, so something in the between might be the truth. So from here, up from the monastery, you can see actually that little tiny white house there, very close to the sea. And we are going to that house now because we have to give you the answer from the quiz from the last vlog. So when you look at these rocks, above the monastery, which are mostly over the building, there are rocks falling down permanently. It was also written in the travel book and you could see that huge rocks, which was the guy showing us on his smartphone, that has crashed yesterday into the little terrace and there was just a monk uh, brooming in the yard. One minute before, so I guess he had said enough of prayers so he was not injured. And since the opening of the monastery, never ever it happened that a tourist or somebody got hit by a rock, even though so many rocks are coming down all the time. So, did you get rid of your sins? <laughs> totally. <laughs> the white pants helped you. Mm -hmm. I'm very innocent. Very good. So Marty, what house is this? This is the house of the young Jacques Mayol in the movie Le Grand Bleu. <laughs> and actually it's not a house, it's a church. So you see they just took the little cross away and put a little uh, chimney, how you call that in English, on top. And the bell you can also, of course also not see in the movie and it's really located at a stunning location. The monastery is hidden, invisible. There's a little beach also down here where you can go swimming if you want to or diving. And now let's go to the beach. So that was a great day at the beach. We had a little bit of clouds also, which was very nice. 
so we could read our books. And now hoopla, we are heading to Katapola. Katapola is the, the main harbor in Amogos where the bigger ships arrive and we are going to sit at the water and eat fish. So now we have to wait a little bit because the restaurant only opens at 6 or 6.30 but in this place under this beautiful old tree and with the view to the harbor that's not really a big problem. So now we are back to Eyali after our dinner in Katapola. Uh, the food was so good so we forgot to shoot it. And we gave the car back to Yannis today, that right now. And uh, during the dinner, we made some amazing uh, shots of the sunset, which uh, which we are going to show you right now. So, thanks for watching. This was the way we saw Amogos. More on our travels on the next vlog. So, keep following us. Good night.